all right guys uh in today's video i'm gonna show you guys how to install the windows in your main menu of the wii so you can just click on stuff and go straight to it you don't have to uh go through the uh the homebrew channel to access everything you can just access it straight through the straight to the front all right guys i'll be on the side over here you guys can see me <coughs> all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of some of these and i'm gonna install them back because i have them already in the sd card like i showed you in the other video once you have the um, watts folder and the pimp my wii application you can uh go ahead and do that stuff okay so let's go to data management uh let's go to channels and see none of them are going to be on the sd card everything is going to be installed into the wii into the wii's memory all right so when you install them they're right here here are all the windows that i added like i said the game boy advanced super nintendo and nintendo those are all going to be basically accessible at the homebrew browser you don't really have to do much the homebrew channel usb loader neo geo playstation all these ones extra ones that i have those have to be found okay the homebrew channel is actually going to make its own window once you homebrew your wii it'll make its own little window so that one you don't even have to find the ones you have to find will be this one playstation the neo geo usb loader not 64 and the uh, genesis okay so let's erase um let's erase this one remember you can always erase them if you ever uh you know install one you don't like because there's different ones you know you can find different uh these things are called forwarders like a forwarder like something that's gonna forward something uh <laughs> uh well um that's what they're called and um uh, forwarders and um you can find them i found a lot of them on uh different um youtube videos and stuff like that that i saw that had uh, links and stuff. I just followed the links and it was pretty easy. And I'll show you guys how they look, okay? Let's erase this one. Yeah, let's erase that. It's not gonna be the actual application, it's just a window, okay? It takes 24 little blocks to um, to on up the Wii's memory. All right, so let me see, let's go back. Uh, okay, so we're missing uh, we're missing the USB loader GX, the Sega, and the uh, Name, or Mame, or whatever. All right, so to get these, once you, you know, once you get your homebrew, once you get the homebrew channel, and you get Pimp My Wii, that's the whole purpose of this. You got to get this application, Pimp My Wii. You can find it pretty easy, too. Just Google that and you'll find it in different links or even uh i follow a link that took me to a website that has a lot of uh, a lot of stuff for wii stuff all right so um let's go into it pin my wii we're gonna load it up remember you have to make your watts folder and put in the watts put in the forwarders you downloaded okay i already did that so i'm already skipping all that i'm going straight to pin my wii uh, Pimp My Wii also has some other options. You can perform tests on your um, on your Wii. Um, it has a couple other stuff. It has it installed as uh, CIOS. I mean, it has its own stuff, its own setup. But um, I mostly just use it for the watts. So I just go to watts. I hit watts. So it's going to find. It's going to tell me that I'm using the iOS 58, and that's okay. I'm going to press A. It's going to tell me that I found it in 249. 249 is good. That's the one that I show you guys that you, we got a switch. Uh, okay, so now we're going to press A. And we're going to go down to Watts. Remember, this is basically the front SD card. It has all the apps and it has, remember, like I showed you yesterday, and the uh, so it basically reads it like a computer. It goes into a system volume information and the information in the SD card, and then it locates the watts. And then the one that we took down was a Sega. 
I'm going to go boom. Just A, press A on it. A to continue. It's pretty easy, guys. It's just going to install it. Boom, A. Press A again to go back. Okay, the other one I took down was the USB loader GX. A. A again. I mean, this is this is pretty simple stuff, guys. Once you once you get all the files and programs, you can do a lot more stuff to the Wii. <coughs> Excuse me. You can um you can change the you can change the themes, you can change the settings. You can change a lot of stuff. I mean, I don't really uh, I don't really say do that stuff cuz you kind of pushing the Wii to the max in a sense, you know, you're kind of pushing it. I right, w once you're done installing these that word right there, uh, forwarder, forwarder, okay? So you got to look for those. You got to Google that or Google um, uh, Watts for uh, something, something, Watts, and search it like that. All right, guys, so once you're done doing this stuff, you're going to hit B to go back. We're going to back again, and we're going to exit. Once we exit, it's going to take us back to the homebrew channel. Okay, once we're in the homebrew channel, we're going to hit the home button and we'll hit exit to system menu. All right. That's weird. Lately, I don't know for some reason, is nothing's wrong with the Wii. It's the, you see, I use it all the time, guys. I'm not, like, you know, making this stuff up. But, um,. Sometimes I can't see right now. The angle that I'm in it sucks. There we go. Oh yeah, I can use hit plus or minus, dummy. All right, so let me move this one. Oh, okay, guys. I'm kind of kind of weird about my Wii. I always like it in a certain way. Certain. I'm so used to it. My controller is messed up too and uh, it works backwards for some reason. Right now I'm using it upside down. See, uh, this thing, I gotta use it like this, upside down. I don't know. It's, it's messed up. Alright, I got everything like I had it. Alright, so we got the USB loader window back. Uh, Mame? What? Whatever. And the Sega. So let's go. Let's make sure they work. Let's go into the loaded GX. All right. <coughs> Thank you guys again for some of the subs. I, I seen a couple of new subs that I had, so appreciate it. Uh, if you're watching this one too, I appreciate you subbing, man. Um, you know, try to I try to help you guys as much as possible. A lot of there's a lot of videos on this week stuff, but you know I try to explain it in different ways to you guys, so you guys can kind of maybe understand that a little bit better. But um, all right. One thing I love about the browser, the USB loader is I was playing Resident Evil the other day and it goes straight back to it, so it's just beautiful. It it remembers everything. All right. Um. Not pretty much it, guys. Um. Show you how to install the windows so you can have easy access to all your stuff and just you know get there right away. If you don't have them, don't worry. You know, if you, st if you still have some of the other applications, you have the NOT64 or you even have the USB loader GX, but you don't have the, the actual window yet, that's fine. You can still go through the just go through the homebrew channel, like I'll show you guys. Let's leave here, let's go to the homebrew channel. Remember, the homebrew channel is going to have all your apps and stuff. It's going to be your main uh, main gateway to everything. But you just kind of have to just leave it there. You know, I have, like I said, once you go to, um, once you go, once you get the homebrew browser, it's going to open a lot of windows. It's going to open basically everything because there you can download the USB loader GX. You can clean rip. You can download the... Uh, D2X where you need to uh, change the iOS on the on the Wii. Yeah, you, know, you can get the Nintendo emulator with the window. Like I said, you can download both of those. Um, I believe you can download the Neo Geo and that one, but you have to get a couple files offline. 
Um, I believe you can get this one too, the Genesis GX Plus, but you have to get the, the forwarder on the side. The Gecko, I have to use that one on my Wii because my Wii is European, so it doesn't read US disk. Uh, I believe you can get this one too from the browser. Um, you definitely can get the uh, Nintendo, the Not64, you can get it from the browser. Pit my Wii, you gotta get it offline. Uh, Power Check, you can get it on the browser. The Super Nintendo emulator, you can get it on the browser with the channel. The Game Boy Advance and the uh, Virtual Boy uh, uh, Game Boy Advance um, uh, emulator and the Windows. You can get everything, pretty much everything through the through the browsers except the uh, Pit My Wii and uh, Pit My Wii and the Homebrew browser because you got to get the browser to get everything. All right, guys. So the whole key is for you to get the get the browser. Once you get the browser. Just follow what I show you how to set up your SD, put in the browser in the apps folder, and then going from there. And then it's going to be your store. Once you download the Nintendo, you're going to see when you when you connect your SD back to your computer to add your ROMs, you're going to see that you're going to have a, uh, it's going to do it by itself. It's going to put the app side of the folder in the apps, and then it's going to make another folder underneath the apps folder where you put the ROMs and stuff like I showed you in the last video guys so it's pretty easy once you when you once you start doing one or two here and there you'll get the hang of it it's not hard it's not complicated I'm not a I'm not a I'm not, I'm not saying I'm dumb but I just follow good I'm a good follower of instructions and um, you know I just do stuff you know I, I just I, I don't I'm not I'm not a genius by any way of this imagination so guys you guys can do it too Thank you again for all the new subs. Appreciate you. I'll keep putting out content. Um, whatever you want to call this content. <laughs> um, but um, if anything, uh, let me know what guys, if you from the videos that I have from my Wii collection and my GameCube collection, tell me what games you like to see play or something. Maybe uh, I'll play some of the games people ask for, especially for the GameCube. I like, I like playing old school GameCube games. All right, guys. Uh, appreciate it again. Thank you for the support. Don't forget to subscribe. All right. Be safe. Um, I always got to use my outro and my intro for this stuff. I like it. All right, guys. Um, be safe and thanks again.